All right, picture this. Some dude in 1637 drops the hardest math problem of all time, says he solved it, but then just disappears. No proof, no explanation, just straight up gaslighting the entire math world for 358 years. That's Fermat's last theorem. This guy, Pierre de Fermat, writes down, xn plus win equals zn has no whole number solutions when n is greater than 2. Then he just casually adds, by the way, I have a proof but the margin is too small, lol and leaves. Bro, what do you mean, where's the proof? And of course every mathematician after him goes feral trying to prove or disprove it. For centuries the best minds, Euler, Gauss, even Einstein, all took one look and noped out. People tried everything but Fermat's mystery just kept clowning on them. Then in 1994 enter Andrew Wiles, this absolute math warlord who had been obsessed with this problem since he was 10. Bro locked himself in a room for 7 years like he was training for the final boss battle and cooked up a 200 page proof using elliptic curves and modular forms, stuff Fermat didn't even know existed. And when he dropped that proof, the math world exploded. So, was Fermat just trolling? Did he actually have a proof? No one knows. But this dude managed to traumatize mathematicians for three centuries with a casual note in a book. Absolute menace behavior. Remember, if you ever feel dumb, just know it took 358 years and the smartest people on earth to solve one guy's unfinished math flex. Follow for more brain rot.